So when you look at this side here versus this side here, mm -hmm. if you had to choose, um, the main thing to do is to recognize that they're a bit different. Mm -hmm. See how the angle to a certain degree is a bit different? This one may be a bit more like this, and this one's more like this. If you had to choose which side would require a little bit more filler, which one would you say that is? Your left or your right? If you had to choose. More filler? Um, yes. To get you to where. I agree. I agree. And so the objective again is this depression here, this deepening here. This is what we're going to try to you know, reduce. All right, so we alcohol this off. So at this point, we do a little, a few little droplets of local anesthetic. Mm -hmm. um, this, when we then use our microcannula technique, we have not injected filler with uh, needles for many years now. We inject only with blunt tip microcannulas, which is more comfortable, it's less bruising. We think the cosmetic result is better, and also we think it's safer for the patient. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of information about that on our site. Do so you, if you need to close my eyes? Or? You can keep your eyes open, but if you feel like you need to close them, you can close them. And sort of look level to the ground like that. And put a few little droplets. Perfect. That's gorgeous. There with your left hand. Just bring your hands up. Put your hands flat against your face. Just perfect. A few more droplets of local in. So again, put your fingers, spread them out, and flat against your face. this finger a little bit more central. All right, so fabulous. We have already injected the little droplets of local anesthetic. Um, as I often remind people in our videos, we only inject fillers with micro cannulas, never sharp needles. This decreases the risk of bruising, but it also is, in our view, more comfortable for the patient, provides a better cosmetic outcome, again, in our view, and we also think it's safer, and you can read all about that, not just on our site on the internet, but all over the place. And so uh, we're going to begin uh, the teardrop. We two tons of teardrop uh, injections men, women, different ethnic groups, and so we, we think it's a really powerful tool. Okay, let's so make a little. So here's our blunt tip cannula. We've made our little, you could call it a pilot hole. usually find this pretty comfortable. There can be a little sensitivity right when you get up near the schnoz, near the nose. Beautiful. Okay. So we use different angles, you could say. approach the different sort of volume deficit areas. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. And so you can see we're sort of proceeding around. There's absolutely zero bruising. Fabulous. So you can see we're using this uh, micro cannula now to deliver. This is the ideal filler in our view for this area. It's called Restlin L. Okay, so we filled in the whole sort of medial tear trot, and our, our priority is always the same. We want a very safe uh, procedure, we want one that causes as little bruising or discomfort as possible. So you can see the patient really was very comfortable. 
And then we're very interested in, very importantly, we're very interested in totally natural appearance. We don't want the patient to look as though, oh, geez, you know, you've had fillers under your eyes. We don't want that. So at this point, we can have the patient take a little look in the mirror. And if you bring your, there you go. So you can see, if you look under this area here, versus this area here. Remember, we started on this side, on your left side, because we thought there was, maybe it was subtly worse on the left-hand side. So we always, we don't put ourselves at an artificial advantage by, by tackling the easier side first. We always want to go after the more, the more challenging side. Okay. And so you see these little red dots, they'll disappear in no time flat. And then uh, the whiteness that comes from the local anesthetic, the little bit of adrenaline in the local anesthetic, that'll drift away over the next two hours or so. All right. So you can see we're trying to match both sides very nicely. No human being is perfectly symmetric, but we pay attention to subtle asymmetries and we try to compensate for them as best as we can. So we've completed everything on the uh, left-hand side. The right-hand side, we've done almost all of it. We just need to put another little bit of volume right in here to make everything nice and balanced. We very much pay attention to these, uh, these uh, nuances. Chin up in there just a bit. Okay. So you can see we're just building up this little area here, and you can see we've completed essentially the entire procedure now. And uh, wonderfully, we're injecting in this area that's pretty vascular and you can get bruising, uh, but you can see we have no bruising here, and we always we think you've got to know where the vessels are, number one, but then the use of the micro cannula, as opposed to the sharp needle, is extremely powerful. And as you can see, it makes the procedure relatively pain-free feel a little bit of a stick here and there, but it's truly not that bad. And then um, uh, no bruising, and patients always love that. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the whole result. We can take a look. So this is the uh, look, and you can see we're trying to bring these very much into symmetry. Mm -hmm. And so basically, this deficit all throughout here, the tear trough area, is pretty much gone. It's probably uh, you know, a dozen years or so of sort of volume deficit that we've been able to reduce or re reverse in just a couple of minutes. Wow. I love it. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. That's great. Good. Thank you. Super fantastic. Here, just hold a tiny bit of pressure up here. And then you're all good.